unlike you. Um, I need a couple volunteers. Me, me, me. You me, don't even know. You me, don't even know what you're. Me and my All right, I need a couple uh -huh. volunteers to give me a hundred dollars. What? Yeah, sorry. No. Me. All right, nope. I need somebody with good handwriting and sense. Me. You're the oldest. Me. You're good to do. Me. I, I don't need her. Eight part curriculum geared to help them learn about the dangers of substance abuse and to help you guys gain necessary skills needed to help resist peer pressure and social demands. Um, pretty much if somebody asks you to do something silly, right, like um, let's go throw this rock through the window or let's go steal this bike, what do you say? No. no. Say no. Why do you say no? Good. See, you're already ready for Project Alert. You're already fine. Mm -hmm. But we're going to take that towards something little like that to drug abuse. Okay? So if somebody asks you to drug abuse. Uh, so if somebody asks hand. you to smoke a cigarette, what do you say? No. Okay? If somebody asks you to take a sip of alcohol, what do you say? No. Good. So you guys are already on the path, all right? We're just going to dive deep into those subjects right there, tell you what's bad about cigarettes, what's bad about alcohol. Anybody confused? Yeah. Oh, do I need that? Oh, can you hold it? My mom just has to it out of my mouth. Good. So we're continuing, all right? So, nope, I'm going to hold on to this. So the curriculum starts with an overview of why people use drugs. So today we're going to talk a little bit of some of the things that make people use drugs, as in lack of self-control, maybe peer pressure. Right, does anybody grow up around peer pressure? People ask them to do things that they know they're wrong. Raise your hand if anybody's ever asked you to do something that was wrong. Okay, nope, you can be honest. I, I'll raise my hand. I've been asked to do things that were wrong. Right? So me. You, right? Now raise your hands if you always say no. Raise your, Antonia lying. Raise your, okay. <laughs> Antonia we're not going to tell Tony's lying. Raise your hand if sometimes you say no. Oh, sometimes. Right? Sometimes. sometimes oh. You can and then this is going to help you guys with the skills um, to resist peer pressure on drugs, alcohol, and tobacco by identifying the pressures that exist and where they come from. And then it can, then we want to also get you guys to stop thinking that everybody does. First of all, who here thinks everybody does drugs? <laughs> okay. Look, so everybody doesn't do drugs, right? So I don't do drugs. There's a lot of people who Your don't. Mom, raise, your, raise your hand if you don't do drugs. My dad does. What? That's okay. My mom does. We're not gonna. We're not, we're not asking about your mom or your no. dad. We're just asking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So raise your hand. Listen, we also have raffles, right? So let me do each lesson, by the way. These lessons are a half an hour. I give out two raffle tickets to the best listener, okay? And what happens is next week, I'll pick raffle tickets. So let's say you get two for being a best listener. So far, you're going to get two for being the best listener, too. I'll give you two raffle tickets. And then next time I come down here, I pick one name out, and they get two free passes to um, Laser Gate. Now, also, we're going to talk about what are some other prizes yeah, that you guys like. You're our writer, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, so where's the, where's the board? Yep, there you go. She's our writer. So she's going to write down four prizes that we all think are acceptable. Go. Oh. Quick, Free somebody raise the hand. Put it down. Oh. What, do you, what do you think? No, not bad. Uh, think about prizes, right? Think about oh, $50 gift certificate to Walmart. Oh. $50 gift certificate to Walmart. Put it down. To Toys R Us. Put it down. Put it down. I told them us, whatever. And then do Walmart as well. $50 what? what about GameStop? $50 well. gift certificate to Toys R Us. Six Flags? What about what? movies? Language, right? Yes. Free passes to the movies. All right, that's it. That's all we have. We'll talk about it after. That's it. So now we're using our listening ears, okay? Good. So the program starts today, okay? And we'll run for the next seven weeks. And every week we will talk about different things. Today, what we're going to talk about, you're our writer, okay? So can you flip this page? We're going to talk about some ground rules. I'm going to tell you guys my rules, okay? So as the teacher here, my name's Jason, by the way. Everybody say, hey, Jason. Hi, 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 Jason. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, right? Um, I will listen carefully to what you have to say and treat all responses with respect, which means if you guys say something to me, I won't make fun of anything, right? I'll just say, good, I will listen. I will be respectful. Inclusion. I will encourage all students to participate in the program's activities, which means everybody over here will get a chance to say something, if you want, okay? Last one, confidentiality. Hold on one sec. I will keep things I hear in class private, unless, of course, you guys say that we can talk about it. Does everybody understand my rules? So we're going to talk about some of your rules. Somebody give me a rule that you guys have to follow raising your hand. Yes. Language. Language. Use appropriate language. Just spell it to the best of your ability. Another rule. Yes, sir. In my room. Huh? In my room. What? Like here. Me? What is cool with yes. in my room? Respect. Me? Be respectful. Me? Yes. Keep my bed. 
<laughs> nope, we're talking about rules that are gonna work here, right? So maybe like, yep. So no fighting. Um, here's a key one. Raise your hand. Raise your hand before you talk. That's the rule that we're gonna have the hardest one with, but we're gonna have to do that. Anything else? How about how about being honest, right? Be honest. And then I'm looking for one more. One more. No phones. Put it away. No, I got mine in my pocket. That's good. So no phones. No mine. Be respectful. No phones. Yeah. Good. So you guys have my rules, and we have the ground rules for you guys. All right. Now here's a question. You're gonna continue writing. Write a straight line, okay? We're going to ask, what do you guys know about drugs? You can say anything you want. We're going to go around the table. You can say, I know nothing. This is what I know. It's all about being honest, right? I have to know what you guys know in order to help teach you guys. So, I'll start with you. What do you know? No. No, no. So, we already said what you can say. You can say nothing, okay? Or you can say what you know. Okay, no. Drinking. Okay. So, drinking. Drinking what is the? a drug. <laughs> okay, next. Oh, Nothing? Okay, you don't have to write when they say nothing, okay? What about you? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing? Max, he knows. Yes. Nothing. Right, what did we say? What's rule number one? He was nothing. What about you? Yes, they're white. They're white? Some of them are white. Uh-huh. What about you? <laughs> Drinking. Drinking is drunk. Uh -uh. Yes, sir. What about me? Listen. I already asked him, he already gave me his response, I just told you that, right? That's my stuff. Yes. Huh? Tobacco. Tobacco. Good. So, raise your hand if you know nothing about drugs. You just said nothing, so raise your hand, right? Then raise your hand. Then raise your hand. Good. So that means we have a lot to learn, don't we? These next seven weeks are going to be very informational. So, let me just read a little something for you guys, okay? This program is basically about three things. Why some people use drugs and why some people don't. Right? So, somebody give me a reason why people use drugs. Me. Why? Why? People use drugs because they want to be crazy. Why? Because some people are stressed a lot, right? And when you're, and when you're stressed, right? Sometimes people do drugs. Okay, somebody give me a reason why people do not do drugs. Because they smart. No, what are we doing? Yes. Because they're smart. Because they're yeah. smart, okay. Yes. Because drugs are bad for you. Because yes. Because they know better. So we just discussed the reasons why people do drugs and the reasons why people don't do drugs. Now we're also going to, how to recognize the pressures of teenagers to use drugs. So why do people think teenagers use drugs? Why? Because they see it on commercials. Because they see it on, want to write that down? That's a good one. See it on commercials. What else? Because they see other people doing it and they think it's okay. Because they see other people doing it and they think it's okay. What else? What else for you? Joy. Okay. What? It's because they see adults do it. Because they see adults Mommy do it. Mommy doesn't do it. What else? Anything? Any reason? And which truck is that? Okay. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. Now, what are some things you can do to resist the pressure of somebody asking you to do drugs? What would you say? No. Yes. You would say no. What else would you say? Bye. Me. Bye. What else? Pay attention. Hey. What truck is that? I'm not up for it. You're not up for it. What about? Don't talk to them. Don't talk to them. I'm too young. I'm too young. What about my parents would I'm not approve of me doing drugs? Yeah. Mm. Hit me with a metal bat. Hit you with a metal bat? <laughs> Mama will hit me with a stitcher cord. Okay. <laughs> so that just... metal bat, hit me with a bum. <laughs> hit me with a metal bat. Like wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. We're moving past this, alright? I'm going to read this to you. Do your best to pay attention, okay? Yeah. So you guys are now at an age where you're making more of your own decisions, right? What are some decisions that you're making now? What are some decisions that you make now? Uh, hmm. <laughs> no, no, we're gonna raise our hands. What are some decisions that you make now? What? Our language. Language, right? You make the decision of what you say. Miss what else? All of us. What else? Mm -hmm. What are the decisions you make now? <laughs> what about you? What? What are some decisions <laughs> that you make? It's not funny. <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> you so do not. I have some decisions on this paper, okay? So, um, some of the decisions you guys make is what food to eat, right? Yeah. How to spend money, yeah. what clothes to wear, and whether to take drugs. Yeah, now. Okay, so, the decision whether to use drugs is ultimately up to you, right? Can anybody make you do it? No. No. So, if you decide to do it, who's the decision on? You. It's on you. So, the most important thing to know is that you are in control of what you do. And since you are in control of what you do, you decide whether you do good things or bad things. Raise your hand if you believe that's true. Me. Maybe. So, you are, in you are in control of what you decide to do, right? So since you are in control of what you decide to do, then you decide whether you do good things or bad things. And then I said, raise your hand if yeah. that is true. Raise your hand if that's true. Don't good. That's true. We are making progress here. Now, Project Alert will help you to say no if you're pressured to any drugs. Today we will talk about some of the people, why some of the reasons people use cigarettes, inhalants, and alcohol, and also the reasons why people have decided not to use these substances. Now, I've got a whole list of reasons here why people smoke cigarettes. I want to see how many you guys can get. No looking. If you guys get more than four, everybody gets a raffle ticket. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me look at these. If you get more than six, there's eight. Wait, what happens if only one of us get more than six? Oh, don't be cheating. All I need that. Of us get I need that. Yeah, don't cheat. Yeah, yep, all don't of you cheat. get a raffle ticket. Yeah. All right. Cut. Raise your hand if you're ready. What? Some of them have stress. Ew, you spit on me? Um, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, nope. He Even though that me. should be one. Wait, I'm going to write that one in there. Wait, what are we ready? That's not on here though. Uh, you should have paid attention. Wait. All right, you need five more. Go. They think it's cool. Uh, <laughs> that's two. Nope, you already said one. They got mad? You already said one. You didn't raise your hand. What? What? When they aggravated? That's like stress. Uh, nope, said that already. My mom's calling me. Why don't you lift her up first? Okay, what else? I don't got Isaiah with me. Three more. What do you think? Frustrated. Leslie! What, what do you think? Um. Minnie, come on. Ooh, I got one. Go. Smoking. Now, there's reasons why people smoke cigarettes. What? Frustration. 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 We said frustration already. Right? What? What? Yeah, because oh, yeah. Some, sometimes. 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 Take that. Take away. Some, sometimes they forgot. We said a lot of them earlier. So if you guys all paid attention to what each other said, you should be fine. I have bad memories. Though. What? Because because of commercials. Let's see. Their yep. actions. What else? Their action? What? Their action? Their action? No. Smoking is an action. What? All right, I'm going to read them off. No, 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 no. No, no. no we, have, we have a lot more. We have a lot more. Don't All right, go. Uh, they see grown-ups growing. They see their You're adults. Adults. Okay, that's another one. That's four so far. Thank you. Stop. Okay. Two more. Thank you. Well, Two you don't, more. still don't read them. They think if they do it, it's going to be cool in front of their friends. Oh, we already said that. We did. Yep. Tony. I'm going to start timing this stuff. You guys got a 30 seconds longer. Uh, a minute. Is cool? How about a minute? Nope. 30 seconds. They think it, it helps them. them. They think... When my no, brother is no, no. joining me. 15 them. seconds. Can I for you? Nope. That's not a reason why they wouldn't smoke. Oh. 10 seconds. What? They think it's something to do. Ten. Second, it's bad for your heart. And nope. So we're looking for reasons why people smoke cigarettes, right? People wouldn't smoke if they thought it was going to hurt them. So the reasons are rebellion, right? Some people smoke just because people tell them not to do it. You need to sit down so she can see. Like you said, their parents smoke, right? Addiction. They're addicted to it. Right? Some people think that if they smoke that they'll be able to think more clearly. That's what I said. I said think. Did you say smoke to think? Okay, fine. That's five. Well, I just really said think. And then there's stress. Uh, Moving on so to the next one. Yeah. So much stress. Me. Yeah, I wrote, I, I wrote that in. Yes. Reasons not to smoke cigarettes. Hold on. I'm going to give us a minute. Go. When you're not at school. What? 
when you're not at school. Reasons not oh. to smoke oh, cigarettes. Easier? Yes. You gotta lose your body parts. Let's it see. doesn't work for your heart. Yep. It's, so we have wait, right? hurts your health. Your you could have lung cancer, lung disease, heart attack, heart disease. So your lungs are what you use so to I breathe. Right? It could, um, he got it right. Yes. It could affect your heart rate. Um, we just talked about that. Well, yes. Cancer. Cancer. Uh, yep. We just talked about that. Right what else? Uh, not good yes. It doesn't help. Sometimes people have to go to the hospital because they can't breathe. So. Hey, your nope. Not good for your yes. Oh! Mm. Already said that. Hurts your health. It it gives you no Ten energy. It gives you energy. It doesn't mm. give you energy. Nope. Mm. Alright. Mm. You, mm. you do worse in sports. Mm. Right? That, that's mm. just like energy. No. Yeah. No. You have to be specific, right? Energy. Alright? Your clothes start to smell bad. Oh, it can yeah. be very okay. addicting. Right? It can get you at trouble. It can get you in trouble with your family and at school. It harms others, right? So if people are smoking and other people around them, like little kids, that can harm them. It can give them and it also makes your teeth yellow. Mm -hmm. That's true. Moving on. Okay. So that's How it. How come I can't get these right when my mom smokes? Okay, so let's talk about alcohol. Why do people you why do people drink alcohol? You have one minute starting now. Go. So like have a good time like drinking and then they have get dizzy or something. Okay. Yep. Woo! Ah! So they can get yeah, So they can get a girlfriend? Nope. No. <laughs> Sometimes they That's what usually things. happens. Yeah, but why do people drink alcohol? Yes. They could be addicted. They could be addicted. 36 seconds. You have 20 seconds left. 20. Uh, we didn't get 6 seconds. Go. That uh they like, yeah. keep drinking and drinking and they start getting Don't put your mouth on it. They're addicted, right? Yeah, they like it. They think it's fun. Okay. Okay. Three more. And, guys, it's the same reason why people smoke cigarettes. Their friends do it, right? It's peer pressure. Oh, um, they does They think it. it's cool, sophisticated. The commercials. Yep. They do it as a rebellion, right? Addicted. Some kids go drink alcohol to rebel against the parents. They're addicted. They get addicted to it. They think that it's going to help them think clearly, or they think it's going to help them forget about their problems. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what mommy does. Stop. They're curious about it. Can you please stop doing this? This is the bad one. And sometimes they do it so they're not nervous. Okay. So say somebody has to go into something and they're going to get nervous about it, they do it. Move. Moving past here. Myth. I'm gonna read a myth. You got. I'm gonna say something. You tell me whether it's true or false. Okay. Got it. Cigarettes help you think clearly. True. True. All right. Hold on. Hold on. This is around the table. This is around the table. True. False. 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 True. True. False. Fact. No, sorry. No, it's true. But it's true that it's a myth. I apologize. So it's not. It may uh, seem so like you are thinking more clearly, but smoking has no effect on the reasoning process. So pretty much, no, it's, it's false. So okay? false. Nicotine is a substance in tobacco that is highly addictive. So inside of cigarettes, there's a substance called nicotine that's addictive. It is both a stimulant and a, a sedative. So stimulant just means um, it increases your awareness of something. So like fire would be a stimulant to run, right? Right, if there's a fire next to you, you're going to run away? Hmm. Right? If no. No? If you can get the paper, go like that. Then the paper will light on fire. Yeah, and then you'll oh, catch on fire. <laughs> okay. Um, the initial nicotine, nicotine kick, which stimulates the central nervous system and causes a sudden release of glucose. All right, who, who, does, who knows what the central nervous system is? Oh, it's your nerves. Okay, so it's pretty much it's your, it's your system that sends messages to and from your body. So if somebody touches you, okay, and their hand is cold, it sends a message he to your central it. nervous system. You understand? And then your nerve turns cold. No, not your nerve turns cold. It's just a message to your nervous system that says, hey, that person's hands are cold. Right? Anybody oh. ever been in really hot weather and yeah. you start to sweat? Mm -hmm. Right? Anybody ever touch something really hot and you pull your hand away? Mm -hmm. Right? Those are all sensories That's you have true. on your hands on the outside of your body. Okay. True or false? Nicorettes? Nicorettes. Cigarettes yeah. calm you down. Uh, true. False. 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 No, around Let's go around. True. 
Well, this says false. Many people believe this, but they really feel better only because they are addicted to nicotine. Oh, never mind. Anybody remember what nicotine is? It's the what is it? Inside the cigarette. Inside tobacco. Huh? Inside tobacco that makes you get addicted. Good. What's the word for it? Substance. Say substance. Good. So you're really addicted to the nicotine inside of the cigarette. So when people need a cigarette, it's they're addicted to the nicotine. Even if they don't have a cigarette, even if they just got the nicotine, then they would be fine. Okay? As with other addictive drugs, you begin to feel jittery if the level of nicotine in your body drops. If you are not addicted, cigarettes usually make you feel nervous. So your body wants nicotine, right? If you don't get the nicotine, Do you know what nicotine is? All right, so there it is. Okay. If you don't get the nicotine, that's when your body starts to feel weird. It's sort of like, um, who here likes donuts? Right. So. I like chocolate donuts. You like chocolate donuts. And, and, and sprinkles. So when you think about chocolate donuts, what what, do you, what happens? You do you want get, do you you get want hungry? It. You want it. Right? Yeah. You want it, right? What happens if you don't get the chocolate donut? Though? You're gonna I still, still no. want it. want it, right? My mom can say no. That's how some people feel about cigarettes and nicotine. Okay. It's like. It's like a chocolate donut, but way, 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 way more better. Well, not better, but way, way, way addictive. Understand? Good. Um, smoking helps you lose weight. Go around the table. False. True. So, smoking stimulates the central nervous system which can suppress appetite. Oh, hold on. But it doesn't change eating habits. It can also decrease the sensitivity of the taste buds and sense of smell making food less appetizing. Overall, this is not an effective way to lose weight as there are many negative consequences from smoking. So it makes you lose weight? Um, yes. Yay! Don't do that. There's other ways to lose weight. Let's think about it. What are some other ways to lose weight? What? Exercising, what else? Jogging. Hold on, we're gonna raise our hands. Yes. Jogging. Treadmill. What about eating healthy? Fruit. Right, if you eat healthy, instead of eating donuts, Grain. you eat fruit. All right, last, last one. It's easy to quit after you've started smoking cigarettes. Yeah. Around the table. Yeah. Hey, fruit. Hold up. We're going to go around the table, right? Yeah. Go. True. False. 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 So this says it's, it's easy to quit later. False. It's not. It's Only false because how many people do you see try to quit? And then it doesn't happen, they just go back to it. Only 3% of daily smokers in high school think they will be smoking later. So think about this, this is in high school. This is a kid who starts smoking in high school. But over 60% are still regular smokers up to 9 years later. Usually people make 5 to 7 attempts before finally quitting, before finally quitting smoking. So you guys know what that means? So if you stop smoking, there's a good chance you might be doing it for a long, long time. Got it? Okay, so next week, now we're going to move on to the activity portion. Okay? Um, we're going to do a little soccer. We've got a wiffle ball. We have basketball. We can do multiple things, okay? Okay, oh, but hold on. Hold on. Come sit down. So let's just review a couple of things. So basically, what happens is you guys need to tell me something to make me know that you guys understand. Understand? Everybody has to say something, otherwise, we don't move on. Go. Uh, you, you, smoking makes you get weight, it doesn't make you lose weight. Lose weight and drinking, they get addicted to it, like, people like Okay, okay. Um, you got notes right there. Alright, we'll come back to you. Hey, you got notes. What's up? Uh... <laughs> He, he wasn't here for a long time. That's well, he was here for some of it. Looks like we're not going to be playing any uh, sports today. People don't want cigarettes. They just want the nicotine. Ah, people like the nicotine instead of cigarettes. Uh, drugs are bad for you. and they, the, they just get it from grown-ups. Drugs are bad for you. That's a good one. And they just get it from grown-ups? And TV shows. And TV shows. Okay. And all the people drink. He, he, he doesn't even know. <laughs> yeah, say something, say something. Go ahead. Older people drink, you said? But is it's drinking real. good for you? No. Yes or no? Nope. No. Go. Drug is for you. 
your body. Drugs are bad for your body. There's this thing inside that was nicotine that, that makes you addicted. I'll give you guys easy ones. What do cigarettes do to your teeth? Make them yellow. Make them yellow. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Next time, it's going to be week two. There's going to be a, a drug survey we're going to give you guys. You're going to bring it home. If you bring it back for week three, you get a raffle ticket. Now, who do I owe raffle tickets to? I'm going to give out some raffle tickets during this game over here. Who's got a basketball over there? Yeah, right here. Let's go. Wait, we're playing the game? Yeah. To take a shot if you can name something about cigarettes or alcohol. Uh, First one to five gets. How many raffle tickets do you think it should be worth? Two. Two? Three. Two. Go. All right. First person raise it. What? Uh. Oh, go. Mm -hmm. Nope. You got to name something about Ooh. cigarettes or alcohol. Name something. What? Make sure you Make sure you You get a huh? shot. First person to get to five wins. Can we dance it? Oh, she's got one. All right, both. Oh, 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 oh. What? Um. What? Well, when they drink and smoke, they get addicted to it, so then they want everyone to smoke. Okay. And drink. Not Stop. bad. Come on, LeBron. Oh. What? Yes. Nicotine makes you get Nicotine makes you get addicted. You get two shots for using the word nicotine. Make sure you're over there, please. Thank you. He gets to go again. He gets two shots. He used the word oh, nicotine. That's a good word. Okay. Oh. They're right there. Oh. What? They smoke cigarettes. They smoke cigarettes. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Get close to the hoop. I don't, I only can do it that one. Okay, try it. Go. Now it's right. Go. Faster. I'm gonna go get the rebound after he makes it. You've got one? Mm -hmm. Okay.